Hi, my name is Brian Fleming from LawnCareBusinessTips.com. Welcome to this short video on how to use local listings for your lawn care business to get new customers for free. To start, you might be asking, what are local listing sites and why are they important? Well, I went and pulled the definition of a local listing site so you know what it is. A special section on a search engine result page is usually at the very top reserved for local businesses that match the current search. These listings are usually accompanied by a map and we're going to get into it all in just a few minutes here. Local listings will be one of your best sources for getting free customers off the internet. It's really important to know. Local listings break down into two types. The first are search engine local listings and local listing websites. We will look at each. Let's take a look at search engine local listings first. Here is a typical search your customers would do to find you. So I went on Google and I typed in Lawn Care Service Columbus, Ohio. And when you look at this, you see ads at the top, ads along the side, a couple what we call organic listings where websites came in. I see three of them. And then under that on the left, I see the local listings. And when I look at this page, what jumps out at me most is the local listings in the map. And we're gonna talk more about that. And now here is the same search on Bing. And when I look at Bing, it looks really similar. Up in the right, I have a map. I have ads at the top, a couple websites listed, and then I have my local listings very prominently listed uh, about halfway down the page uh, on the left-hand side. And then finally, here it is on Yahoo. And when we look at Yahoo for the exact same search, we also have a map on the right but they actually go right from ads right to the local listings and then everybody else underneath. So as you can see, local listings take up a large part of the free listings and search engines for your lawn care business. Local listings also get preferred treatment and as I showed you are more visible to your customers. Your listing also shows up on a map and here is a, a search I did on Google Maps, same search, but now I'm local listings in on these search engines. Uh, and then it also shows up uh, on the local listings uh, list that I showed you earlier. I just zoomed in here so you can see it, and you can see how much more of these stand out than just a website listing. <clears throat> it also takes over the entire right-hand side of the search page when you highlight it. So here I went down to tailored lawn service. I just highlighted over it and then the whole right side of the screen where people were paying for ads, that got overridden with tailored lawn services stuff. All their things, directions, pictures, stuff like that. So I'm just showing you that the local listings have huge weight in the search engines. The first step to using local listings for your lawn care business is actually quite simple. Take five minutes and just list your lawn care business on Google, Yahoo, and Bing. It will make, I will make future videos going into the details of each. For now, just know any listing is much better than none. So head on over and enter your business info into the three ser major search engines. It will be time well spent. Next, our local listing sites. They are large sites that draw an audience for local businesses. People go there to find a good restaurant. They also go there to find a good lawn care service. Yelp is the biggest and the market leader with over 72 million monthly users. But there are many others too, and I just grabbed some of them. There's literally hundreds of these sites. Here are some of them just to give you an idea. You really should have your business listed at all these sites since all of them have an audience. You can see it takes a lot of time just to list your lawn care business on all these sites. The good news is your competitors are probably thinking the same thing too. That is, if they even know about local listing sites and they probably don't. They are most likely not even listed on most of these sites. That means just by having your business listed, you automatically win. It's kind of nice. If you want the results of being listed in all the top uh, local listing sites, but you don't have the time to do it, visit 
www.lawncarebusinesstips.com slash blog slash local listings. My team can do it for you at a very affordable price. They do this stuff all the time and it just isn't a lot of work for them. So it's probably to your advantage to just have them do it. Their time's probably not worth as much as yours. Anyway, so step one is to just get your lawn care business listed on Google, then Yelp, then Bing, then Yahoo. Do them in this order too. Then you can do the others later if, or hire my team to do them all for you if you want. So how do you get more free customers from local listing sites? Well, the currency of local listing sites is customer reviews. And I showed you a couple here. The more five-star reviews you have, the more new free customers you will get. It's just that simple. Most local uh, sites also have power listings that you can pay for. You should only pay for these if you have a way to track and how many customers they are actually sending you. That way you know if your ad buy was effective. The best way to get more reviews for your local listings is to just ask your customers. Add a Yelp or local link to your email signature. But for printed materials, make a redirect link on your site and I'm going to show you how this works. So here's an example. If your business was called Diamond Lawn Care, you would make diamondlawncare.com slash Yelp and that would redirect them to the URL below. You don't want to print that giant Yelp URL all over your stuff and you also want to keep the branding of your own site. So that's how you do it. It's actually pretty easy to do, but if you don't know how to do this, just contact me. I can do it for you. It's not very hard. Add the link on your business cards too and include the links in your bills or invoices. I made a sample for you. Here's what I would put. Just at the bottom, put happy with our service, question mark. Leave us a great review. Then put your business URL slash Yelp, your business URL slash Google review. When they put those in, it'll send them off to your review site at those places. And then just put something at the bottom to let them know. Leaving a great review is the highest compliment they can pay you, and it really is. If they leave you five-star reviews, it's going to bring you new customers for years that you don't even have to pay for. Ask for reviews when you email your customer list too. We're going to get more into building customer lists uh, out of email and, and what to email them, but getting them to leave reviews is a great way to get a lot of five-star reviews um, under your local listings. The single strongest thing to influencing your customers' reviews is customer service, and I'm going to show you in a second why that's so important. Let's look at some. So here are some examples, and one is a five-star review. And what he says, as I go through, as he says, they also pay close attention to detail and their customer service is awesome. I highly recommend them. So he's talking specifically about their customer service. That's why he gave them a five-star review. They could have screwed something up, but if they had good customer service and came back and fixed it, the guy still would have gave them a five-star review. And now let's look at the one who gave them a one-star review. Again, when you read it, it's related to customer service. Basically, this guy blew her off, he didn't call her back, he didn't show up, she got upset about it, went on Yelp, put a one-star review, and you know what? That hurt his business. He's probably not going to get as many new customers because of that. So it's really important that you guys follow up with your customers and do a good job with customer service. And as you can see, good customer service is even more critical than ever in the information age. Next, only actively drive reviews to Google or Yelp. Reviews there will move the needle more than other sites. They are just larger, more active communities. And you really can't ask your customers to leave reviews at 20 different places. That's just not realistic, so pick one or two. But if you really only want to pick one, then pick Yelp. It is much easier for your customers to leave reviews on Yelp. Google makes it just a little bit harder for them. Then check your views on, reviews on these sites monthly. If you see a bad review, dispute it. You can get them removed. It's worth the time. As you can see, getting your lawn care business into local listing sites is not hard. It only takes a few minutes and it will send you new free customers for years. You'll just love it. You will be glad you did it. Do it and you'll be glad you did it. Sorry about that. If you want more tips, visit lawncarebusinesstips.com. My name is Brian Fleming. I'll make some more videos. Hope to talk with you again soon. Take care.